Good morning. In this session, I would like to talk on late age silkworm rearing. Late age silkworm rearing. See, this is the life cycle of silkworm bombyx mori. As in case of any other insects, it has four distinct stages. That is egg, larva, pupa, and adult. In this larval stage, you please follow my cursor. In this larval stages, the larval stage can be subdivided into five instars. First two instars are called as chalky worms or young age silkworms, and last two instars are called as late age silkworms, and third instar is the intermediate one. But for our convenience, it is also included under chalky rearing. In this session, I would like to talk on the rearing of fourth and fifth instar silkworms. That is nothing but the rearing of late age silkworms. ये येरो डू ये जन्ना worms ना हेग रेर मारो तो ना तो ना ये क्लास नली नानो मातर. As you know, silkworm is a fast growing animal. With a short duration, life span of 20 to 30 days, it acquires 10,000 times of weight, 7,000 times of mass or size. See, during this period, during the fourth and fifth instar, the silkworm consumes about 90 to 95 percent of the total feed. Total feed, Andre. Silkworm hatch again, da hatch ada again, da. स्पिंग शुरू आगो तनक अंदर फीडिंग स्टापनक फीड मे आोटल क्वांटिटी नईंटी टू नईंटी फै पर्सेंट न फोर्थ अंड फिफ्त इन स्टार न फीड मे देन यू अस्यूम दि डिमैंड आफ दि फुड ड्यूरींग फोर्थ अंड फिफ्त इन स्टार स्टेज दिस इज वेरी एसेनशियल वेरी नेसरी बिका इट हाज टू डवलप सिल ग्लैंड इट हाज टू सैक्रीट सिल फार दि फार्मेशन आफ कून This is the first point. Second thing, also for metamorphosis as well as reproduction. Metamorphosis from larval stage to moth stage. Again, the moth stage needs energy for reproduction because in silkworm life cycle, only one thing I have said in the previous slide, only four distinct stages. Idru saha only feeding stage is the larval stage. Or in other words. Larval stage is the only feeding stage. So, in each life cycle, get embryonic stage early, larval stage early, pupal stage early, reproductive part, that kind of reproduction part, that kind of ha adult or what? Mass stage goes ha. The last stage goes ha. Feeding stage under larval duration, matra. So, how do I get? In all the beko, in each life cycle, the complete part, like in all the beko, larval duration, all the thin beko, feed mar beko, store mar beko. First in star, second in star, third in star are chalky worms. अद्वान ग्रोयर अंत करी अंदर जस्ट ग्रोथ आगता सिलकोर बाडी ग्रोथ आगता बट लेटर स्टेजस फोर्थ अंड फिफ्त इन स्टार नल ग्लैंड प्रोड्यूस आगे सिल ग्लैंड सिंथस आगे अंदर फार्मेशन आगे सिल सिंथस आगे ककून फार्मेशन आगते यूज मो दे विथिन द ककून मैटमारफोसिस आगते ट्रांसफार्मेशन फ्रम लारवल टू प्यूपल स्टेज देमर्ज आगते अगेन मत एमर्ज आदले रीप्रोडक्षन Female lays thousands of eggs in case of univoltine. At that, generally, we talk about one nanor in the end nor the ten kilos are more tired. So, this all go back again. That the nutrition is the fourth and fifth star. Now, lay store more back. That need is the haga. Give ninety to ninety five percent. Then feed more. From the fourth age onwards, the entire leaf, chapped shoots, or the entire shoots may be fed to the worms. So. The leaves remain fresh for a longer period, and therefore only three to four feedings per day is enough. Of course, इधर ना ला ना नो चाकी वर्म से ना टीच मार्बे करो सहाय ले दिनी ये नो three to four feedings per day are depending upon the climatic condition. तो मत रही इधर का सोल्पे एच के बेक आगे तो feeding हो एच के अंदर number of frequency, number of times ना लक्ष्य ला कुड़बे का बोधो इस ला कुड़बे का बोधो But humid condition is that freshness maintain agar the mulberry leaves are agar you can reduce it. However, it would be advisable to give large feed at night because feed at night and that agar more than eight hours, nine hours feeding kora dilam adi dalle ha agar night feeding na solpa hechke kudvanta abhyasa itko be kaat hai. So 
from fourth age onwards we can feed the entire leaf or chaffed shoots okay so this is the latest silkworm rearing see in this latest silkworm rearing there are three methods they are very common there is there are uh, very common methods in india that is nothing but the shelf rearing floor rearing and shoot rearing more methods na one by one ile discuss maadu onnilledu shelf rearing see in this method silkworms are reared in a bamboo or wooden trays see you know the both the both type of uh, trays bamboo tray wooden tray ella nodirthiru neevu matte namma laboratory nallu saha use maadidivi wooden tray is made up of wood bamboo is made up of bamboo of course it's uh, around a circular in uh, shape okay so which are arranged one over the other in tires on rearing stand see this is a rearing stand and the wooden rearing stands are arranged one above the other generally the rearing stands are arranged in two rows parallel to the wall with adequate space in the center for removing the trays and for conducting the cleaning feeding spacing enella kelsa ide rearing kelsa adana attend madlikke sakashtu space na madhyadal kodirtar andre gode pakka akade gode gode ikade gode parallel lagi rearing stands na arrange madirtar again it is depending upon the length of the rearing room each rearing stand can accommodate 10 rearing trays uh, trays hattu rearing trays na idu accommodate madadu anta size irutte see ee method nalli advantage enu anta andre in a limited space in a limited area you can accommodate more number of silkworms see this is another picture of shelf rearing here bamboo trays are used for rearing the silkworms and this bamboo trays with a diameter of 1.2 to 1.4 meters of course it is available in the market karnataka matte west bengal eradu kade ee bamboo trays bala popular but now bamboo tray initial bantu amela wooden tray bantu iga pvc trays are more common in karnataka because of the so many advantages of uh, pvc uh, made uh, rearing trays because it's very easy for disinfection washing matte ondikella ಈಗೆಲ್ಲ ಉಡನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವುಡ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಬು ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಮೇಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಷ್ಟ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಹ ಪಿ ವಿ ಸಿ ಮೇಡ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ಗೆ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ನಾನು ಮೊದಲು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಅಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಶಾ ಒಂದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದಾಗ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ rearing trays are uh, accommodate arrange one above the other but disadvantages en anta andre more labor is required for rearing operations rearing operations en baruthe feeding baruthe cleaning baruthe spacing baruthe because uh, they have to pull out the rearing tray feed madbeku clean madbeku feed madbeku spacing kodbeku then adana vapas hakbeku higagi more labor is required in this method or in this technique next one is floor rearing this is another method of rearing silkworms on fixed rearing seats using wood wooden fixed rearing seats inda maartare but it's not common in india idu india dalli common alla so first now we have heard the shelf rearing that is most common in india west bengal karnataka or tamil nadu or andhra pradesh ella kade maharashtra ella kade that is shelf rearing is very common this is another method of rearing silkworms on fixed rearing seats this rearing seats are arranged two or three tires as shown in this picture ee picture nalli ondu eradu moor tire nu toriside see this is the length of the rearing seat 1 to 1.5 meter this is the height from one seat to another seat 0.6 to 0.8 meter and the length 5 to 7 meters but idike yade limitations illa depending upon the length of the rearing room we can stretch kadame idre kadame jaasti idre jaastige idana stretch maartha hogabodu ee space idra sutta rearing seat sutru saha sakashtu space na bitirtare to attend the rearing operations see this rearing of, of course wood seat illa andre bamboo nallu ma saha maadabodu but it's not common in india idu india dal common alla the number of feedings given is 3 to 4 in a day this method needs less labor as a feeding and cleaning process do not involve the handling of innumerable trays as in case of shelf rearing shelf rearing anta andre silkworms na maintain madodu rearing trays nalle so hagagi the rearer has to maintain rearer has to handle hundreds of rearing trays but ille aa kelsa illa 
मोर ओवर कंपेटिवली क्लीनिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी कड़म आगते फीडिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इवन इफ यू फीड द शूट्स आर चापड शूट्स इट्स वेरी लेस फ्रीक्वेंसी आर लेस नंबर ऑफ क्लीन ड्यूरींग इन स्टार फोर्थ इन स्टार फिफ्त इन स्टार कड़म फ्रीक्वेन्सी बरते बट अद नोड़ा ट्रेन सामान्य जनरली इन दिस मेथड अदले शेल फ्रेरींग लीफ चापड लीफ आर् चापड शूटलेट बट शूटलेट सह इट बिकम्स हेवी अदान फीडिंग बंदा अली नान डिसकिन ओके नेक्स्ट इज शूट रेरींग सो शूट रेरींग बेनिफिट ऐन यू क्या फीड दि बिग शूट हारवेस्टेड आज सच आर् स्ट्रेट अवे टू दिल सो सिल गारडन इडी शूट्स इडी ब्रांच हारवेस्ट मे अदू सह फीड मोदी चाप मोदी अथवा लीफ हारवेस्टिंग ये रीतिया प्रॉब्लम सी नन कर्ज नो पिचर तोर्ता जन रेरींग अटेडेंट अटेडर सी यूशली वन मीटर विटर बिकाज कई हाक अली तनक रीच आगे टू अटे दि रेरींग आपरेशन सो गमन वन मीटर विट And 20 cm centimeter above the ground level. Ground level in that to avoid the crawling insects, on the 10 cm or on the half feet as to, it is space in that quarter to 10 cm. Occasionally, two to three tires with a gap of one meter. This gap one meter I can tell to attend the rearing operations. Yeah, so feeding is good, cleaning is good. In that case, some only one meter is there. Again, number of tires may be vary. It is one, two, three, four tires in that course. There, of course, this is the top covering. ओके सो इलाक टयर इन हईट जास्त ना स्टैंड हाँ हि अद्र मेल अटेव यू कैन इनक्रीज दि नंबर आफ् टयर्स ओके सो हियर अफकोर्स इला पिचर इू सह क्लीनिंग अटेडेंट दिस फिस्ड मेटल स्टैंड फिस्ड रेरींग स्टैंड यूसिंग मेटल हियर इट इस लोकली अवेलेबल वुड बैंबू एल यूज स्टैंड ओके See here, you can save the labor requirement by sixty percent in fifteen star and fifty percent in case of fifth age. So fourth age, matte fifth age, generally sixty matte fifty percent labor na save matte than compared to shelf rearing, and saves leaf about twenty five percent in the fourth and fourth age and ten percent in case of fifth age because ili entire shoots na na feed mano drinda freshness so long duration erut. You observe mano bod. वु मलबरी लीफन सूम्न हारवेस्ट में फीडी फीडमी इन ट्रे के शूट्स फीड में नो शूट सहित मलबरी लीफ के मॉश्चर कंटेट विल बी सप्लेड फ्रम दि शूट आ स्टेम रीजन मॉश्चर सप्ले आगता सो लीफ कैन मेन्टेन दियर फ्रेशने फार लांग ड्यूरेशन वेन कंपेर्ड टू दि लीफ हारवेस्टिंग टेक्निक सो दीस आर् दि इंपारटेंट आस्पेक्ट आफ शूट रेरींग नव डे शूट रेरींग इज मोर पाप्युल बट इतनी लिमिटेशन नेक्स्ट हेल्थ सो आप्टिम एनवरामेंटल कंडीशन फस्ट वन टेमप्रेचर से आप्टिम ह्यूमिडिटी वन कंपेर्ड टू चाकी रेरींग दिस टेमप्रेचर लो टेमप्रेचर वन कंपेर्ड टू ये सिलेंगे सिलोल्क्रे लोवर टेमप्रेचर न लोवर ह्यूमिडिटी डिमांड नंबर वन नंबर टू रोल आफ टेमप्रेचर रोल आफ ह्यूमिडिटी हौ टू मेन्टेन हौ टू मैनेज आफ टेमप्रेचर अंड ह्यूमिडिटी अब ना लास्ट से लास्ट से चाकी रेरींग अल डी टेमप्रेचर हेन कड़म ह्यूमिडिटी हेच्चे कड़म हे मैनेज मोदा सो इन ना डिस्क हो फोर्थ एज्ञी फोर टू ट्वेंटी फै डी से ग्रेड इस आप्टिम अफकोर्स प्लस आर् मैन वन आर् टू डिग्री से ग्रेड इस ओके नो प्रॉब्लम बट अली हिंदे मुदे हे अदान यू हू मैनेज एंड दि आप्टिम ह्यूमिडिटी इस सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फै पर्सेंट इन केस आफ फिफ्त इन स्टार ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री से ग्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फै टू सेवेंटी पर्सेंट रिटिव ह्यूमिडिटी इस द आप्टिम सो इत टेमप्रेचर मत ह्यूमिडिटी नज्ली मेन्टेन नेक्स्ट इस फीडिंग फीडिंग विचार बरतेंगे बिगनिंगल फस्ट थ्री इन स्टार्स ऐन फस्ट इन स्टार से इन स्टार थर्ड इन स्टार दे आर् ग्रोयर्स बर ग्रोथ इत सो ग्रोथ डिमांडे कॉबोहैड्रेट रिच मॉश्चर रिच अंद्रे वाटर रिच इतना कट एजल आगल फोर्थ अंड फिफ्त इन स्टार ऐन दे आर् प्रोड्यूसर्स ऐने प्रोड्यूस नंबर वन सिल प्रोड्यूस मेटमारफसिस बेक्यूट्रिय अक्यूमुलेट रिप्रोडक्षन बेक न्यूट्रियंट अक्यूमुलेट सो हियर दि मलबरी लीफ शुड कंटेन 
more amount of protein, more matured one when compared to the first, second, third in star. So, all the yellow soap punna kerdre, yellow bultir takanta, bulky soap punna demand martave. That's the number one difference. Number two, all the moisture rich rite, yellow moisture kadme irbeko. Again, third one, they are carbohydrate rich, but here protein rich, amino acid rich rite takanta, ha, feeding bekat. In a feeding schedule, of course, depending upon the climatic condition, temperature, you have to fix. Normally, 3 to 4 feeds is recommended. In case of leaf feeding, leaf on the feed model, shelf rearing. Shelf rearing, you have to maintain 4 feeding schedule. This is the 4 feeding schedule. Adapt to maintain. But in case of floor shoot rearing, of course, shoot rearing nalli, no need of chopping. Entire shoot lets can be entire shoots na. Yes, today we can really. As to do kuni wo adna feed mar banta chances so provision irate. Ha ga ge in case of floor rearing, ali chopped shoots na atwa unchopped shoots na sa feed mar bodo. Again, number of feedings per day is directly depending upon the temperature. But comparatively, it will be less here. Here anta andre shoot rearing matte floor rearing nalli number of feedings are less. Yes, number of feeding so bada kadme irutte okay so illi shoot rearing nalli only two feeds are enough belige ondu feeding sanje one feeding kodre saako but uh, shelf rearing nalli you need at least 3 to 4 feeding shed feeding schedule should be 3 to 4 feeds per day again in case of floor rearing allu saha new shoots na chopped shootlets or direct shootlets na use madodrinda there also two feedings per day is enough okay Next is cleaning. Of course, cleaning with husk, cleaning with net, cleaning with husk and net. And third one is combination of first and two. Of course, as in case of chakir rearing, you lose a na follow marti. See, this cleaning by hand is more popular in our state. Here, hand and hand pick maan vanta do baala kama. But here, gaiti chige cleaning by net method na use marta agar. But drawback in vanta andre cleaning by net and daga. It's uh, demands more number of nets. And for example, 100 test, trace and you maintain and 200 nets should be in rearing house because 100 nets are idle. In use only. Idle and that in use. Train only. Bottom only. That one to double quantity is the minimum requirement in case of net method. In case of floor rearing and shoot rearing. See, this is shelf rearing. Trace and use the use of the technique. Hand pick, dust, and the But uh, here, laborious. But in case of floor rearing and shoot rearing, very simple. You know, ropes are spread all along. Any length of the rearing room, or the rearing seat. You can see that 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 Parallel lagi, on the pakka ondo arrange marta ho. After two feedings, andre next day, yeh to bedge morning first feeding kudbe kadre, rope suna ki feed marado, night feeding aagite. Next day, simply a varam se line aagite, mail gade move aagite. These ropes separates the old bed from the new bed. Old bed matte new bed na yeh ropes separate marta. Simply adana pull mar kondo roll mar bedo. Mail gade bharta kanta bed na. Fresh bed na new bed na roll maade inon kare shoot maada do kelega irta kanta kasa na check da kono. Nen pit go be kone wo in case of shell fraying innumerable of innumerable innumerable number of trays irte number one alien agate iration ke matondi ke as to provision iro dilla comparatively leaf akodre na leaf one by one andre bello ando accumulate agate along with the fecal matter but illi stick iro dren da shoot iro dren da. A fecal matter like Kelgade Hotogate number one, there is a provision, good provision for aeration. So, Hagagi, Ili cleaning go only once or twice. In case of floor rearing as well as shoot rearing during fourth star as well as fifth star. But in case of shelf rearing, Prati Dusa bed cleaning in the model needed. Hagagi, that is a laborious. Adhavande on the advantage in Antandra, in a limited space, you can accommodate more number of worms. But here, ill space jasti bekagate. Adbitre ulu de la benefits so advantages matha disadvantages. Na, next, uh, the lay health. Ni. Next is spacing. See, again, you know the significance of spacing and methods of spacing. Of course, during fourth in a star, 
at the beginning 5 square meter should be there at the end of the fourth edge it should be stretched to 10 square meters during fifth star 10 square meter area should be stretched to 20 square meters this is for spacing during fourth and fifth star respectively see this picture shows the how to increase the space from high density to enough density not low density enough density okay gradually this should be moved from this uh, de high density to enough density level see this picture shows the overall requirement for rearing of two boxes are 40000 x or 100 disease free layings of multi into biovoltaic hybrid that is pure mysore into csr2 for fourth and fifth in star temperature requirement is 24 to 25 degrees centigrade here 23 to 24 degrees centigrade relative humidity 70 to 75 here 65 to 70 leaf size see you need not cut here for any method it may be shelf rearing or shoot rearing whatever it may be the thing you can feed the entire leaves or chopped shootlets at this level Again, of course, in case of shoot rearing, entire shootlets may be supplied to the rearing bed or silk worms. Quantity of required required in kgs that is 70 to 80 kg, here 600 to 650 kgs. Number of feeds, 4 feeds, is a regular traditional shelf rearing requirement. Number of cleanings, daily ones, here also daily ones. Spacing is same, duration 4, hour, four days, 12 hours, 6 days. Molding period is one day, only one uh, mold between uh, fourth uh, to fifth in a star. See, this is the overall requirement for shelf rearing. But in case of floor rearing and uh, shoot rearing, the quantity may be reduced by some amount. Again, number of feeds are reduced by 50%. Of course, cleaning is also reduced. See, let us discuss some of the important advantages of shoot rearing. Number one, labor saving up to 70% during fourth and fifth in star. See how it is beneficial or useful when compared to shelf rearing. Shelf rearing is a shoot rearing. Nano is floor rearing. Ignore money in India. India is a little floor rearing. India is a little floor rearing. It was old technique. The popular one is the shelf rearing. Illa shoot rearing. Comparatively, shelf rearing compared to labor saving is up to 70%, then leaf saving up to 15 to 20%. So, leaf cocoon ratio less by 2 to 3 kg C, the difference, the benefit that is 15 to 20%, leaf save, even leaf cocoon ratio reduced by 2 to 3 kgs. Then, better cocoon characters and effective rate of rearing. Cocoon character will be good and effective rate of rearing is also good. That indicates the mortality of the silkworm will be less when compared to shelf rearing. Better preservation of leaf quality, storing and on the bed. Here in case of shoot rearing, you are going to harvest the entire shoot. Bottom level ke cut maad kumbar tiri. Hagage, the preser during preservation, the quality of the leaf is better. Even on the silkworm rearing bed. More an organic material, you will get up to 18 tons per hectare per year because academian feed model is only leaf and feed model that is also waste agar then then you mark on the shoots and the stem region in the stem of it will have a you will get more organic uh, material matter that is about up to 18 tons per hectare per year better hygienic conditions because here the provision for aeration is very good when compared to the shelf rearing Channagi aeration irodrinda, hygienic conditions, Channagi rate. That means the climatic condition is congenial for the better development and growth of silkworms, not to microorganisms. Okay, Hagagi, better hygienic conditions. Handling of silkworms minimized, no contamination. Because in other mutodela, cleaning agli, feeding agli, spacing agli, yaudu kusani wo, silkworms are directly mutode irodrinda. Handling is minimized. So, handling minimized and tandra, no contamination. Then, bed cleaning only once after fourth mold. Twice in case of fourth in star, in case of fifth uh, in star, only once. One day once a la bed cleaning in a madavanta provision. Worms and leaves are kept away from the litter. Secondary contamination is also minimized or nil. Because male gadaytaka silk worm excreta pass akti dangyanagate. 
ಆ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ಮು ಆ ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಕಡ್ಡಿಗಳ ನಡುವೆ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಬೇರೆ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಟಚ್ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಮೋಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಿಲ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಈವನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನೀವು ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಸಹ ಥ್ರೂ ಮಲ್ಬರಿ ಲಾ ಲೀಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿನಿಮೈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾರ್ ಲಿಟರ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಲಿಟರ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಲೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೀವು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಲೇಬರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಲೇಬರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಮೆಥಡ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಕಾಣಿಸೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೂ ಸಹ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಅಂದಾಗ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾಗ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಸಹ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ರೂಮ್ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬೈ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೊದಲು ಹೇಳಲ್ಲ ಈ ಮೆಥಡ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಶೂಟ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಕೆ ಜಾಗ ಇರಬೇಕು ಹೆಚ್ ಕೆ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ವೆನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಬೆಡ್ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಸಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಫ್ಲೋ ಸಾರಿ ಶೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಅನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಲ್ಬರಿ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ನ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾವಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಶೂಟ್ ಇಡೀ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶೋಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅವು ಏನು ಉಳಿಸೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ನೆಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಫೀಡ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರಬಲ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಮೈನರ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಟೆಕ್